Barbecue burgers, bacon, American favorites, but dozens of trusted sources say that limiting red meat consumption is key to avoid chronic disease such as cancer and heart disease. Advice to follow, right? Well, recently an esteemed journal made national headlines publishing science contradicting those trusted sources. And you hear these contradictions all the time. Coffee, good for you, bad for you. Alcohol, moderation is okay, no amount is okay. See the problem? Most of us get our nutritional information from the media. So these conflicting messages affect our nutritional choices. And here's why that's serious. In the U.S., 60% of us has a chronic disease, 40% more than one. This rate of chronic disease will bankrupt our healthcare system. So your nutritional choices matter because they mitigate disease risk factors. So my research asked, why do we have such conflicting nutrition headlines? And what role do journalists play? I conducted multiple in-depth interviews with journalists to ask two things. What's so difficult about reporting nutrition science? And how do journalists deal with these difficulties? The problem is in the process that produces a nutritional headline. First, there's the methods to obtain the finding, a major center of controversy. Then there's a scientist who interprets the finding. Please note, there's nothing factual about a new finding. Then there's the press release that cheerleads the finding, which a journalist caught in a 24-hour news cycle just might translate into a news story. Not good. That writing shortcut bypasses healthy skepticism. However, the best journalists as science communicators convey the uncertainty associated with new findings because they know science is not broken. It's just a really complicated process. In many ways, these media contradictions are actually signs it's healthy and working through self-correction. Now, I don't have the solutions yet. I devoted my master's work to the problem and the journalistic process. I'll devote my PhD to the solutions. In the meantime, scrutinize sources because hard truths don't exist in nutrition science. But good journalists who understand scientific uncertainty do. Seek them out. They are your best chance at better nutritional choices.